Hey guys, it's Katie. One, two, three, go! doing a huge makeup haul. I have recently bought a ton of makeup and a bunch of makeup has been sent to me and today I thought I would sit down and show y'all everything that I have received. So if you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe down below and turn on your hashtag post notifications to get notified every time I post a video. If you turn on your post notifications, you have a chance to win a sister shout out in my video. So the shout out goes right here. Thank you so much for always loving, supporting me and being one of the first people to watch my videos. We have a bunch of makeup today ranging from Sephora, Glossier, we have Drugstore, we have Ofra. Just sit down, this is gonna be a long ride. We're gonna talk, we're gonna play, I'm gonna show. It's gonna be really fun. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, add me on Snapchat, follow my Twitter, all my social media are always down below and stay connected with me. Also today, I did my makeup very like fancy. I don't know, I don't really wear this much makeup on an everyday basis. I also curled my hair last night. Um, I don't think it stayed at all, but it's fine. We are feeling a little spicy. So with all that being said, we're just gonna jump right into this. So I think I'm going to start off with drugstore makeup so that way we can save the best for last because I have a bunch of really fun stuff that I want to show you guys but I have a few drugstore products that I recently got that I want to show you guys I want to do a full face of drugstore first impressions video so I've been recently gathering a bunch of new drugstore makeup that I've not yet tried and I have a few things to show you so the first thing that I got was this Maybelline brow pencil it's the micro pencil and it's just in the shade 250 blonde and this is what it looks like I am religiously grounded to my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow Ways in the shade blonde. I use that every single day and I will not use anything else because I am very scared. <laughs> but I wanted to try this. It looks just like the um, Anastasia pencil. The tip is super, super skinny and I've heard good things about this so I wanted to try it. The next thing that I got was the CoverGirl Clean Sensitive Foundation and this is in the shade 505 Ivory and this does look a little bit light. I'm not even gonna lie. I've never tried um, any CoverGirl foundations before and I've seen this at the drugstore like every single time I go. It's just like this triangular shaped um, foundation. They also have like a blue cap that I've seen before but I wanted to try it as supposedly this is really good for keeping your skin like clean and healthy and if it's it's really good for a sensitive skin it's 100% oil free lightweight coverage and they have like um, a clean matte pressed bun but yeah I wanted to try this looks super cute and it's just a really fun shaped bottle so the next thing that I got was the NYX HD studio photogenic concealer and this is what it looks like mine's in the shade fair um, w02 I've never tried a NYX like base product before, so I wanted to try their concealer. It looks good. I think it's gonna be light enough and I'm always looking for a new concealer because I have my holy grail and that's normally what I stick with. So these are the three drugstore products. These are the three drugstore products that I picked up recently. And then lastly, I wanna show you guys, I went on Amazon and I've never actually had like lip oil before. And if you know me, I'm a sucker for chapstick, for lip balm, for lip gloss. I don't really wear like lipstick or liquid lipstick, but I love just like the glossy look. So I went on Amazon and I was just looking around and searching. And I came across this. This is a three pack of ultra lip oils. So in here, it comes with um, ultra lip mint oil, ultra lip coconut oil, and this one, which is ultra lip rose hip oil. And these are all like lip oil, lip glosses. The coconut one says it hydrates, locks in moisture, and lets you have shine. The mint one says it refreshes, soothes, and then the rosehip oil says it reduces, moisturizes, and it has vitamin A in it. So they all look really pretty and really nice. I want to try one on. Um, I love mint. I'm actually wearing a mint lip balm right now, but I want to try this rosehip oil because I've heard things about rosehip oil before. Kapow, she is glossy. So that's what it looks like. Super pretty. I like it, actually. It has no color, obviously. They're just like glosses, and um, I like it so far. Feels pretty. I like the formula so far. I can't wait to continue to try these out. So now we're going to move on to something that I ordered online. And I don't know if you guys know this, but there's this YouTuber that I watch and her name is Fiona Frills. I think she's like really close to a million subscribers on her main account. And then she has like a vlog channel and she has like 700,000 or something like that on there. And she's a teeny YouTuber. She's 15. She does so many great things. A lot of people don't like her because she thinks she like brags a lot or she's annoying or whatever. But I personally like her videos. I do think she rambles a little bit, but I like her videos. I think they're enjoyable and I can relate to her because we're like the same age. 
and she came out with her own makeup line I think it was last year and it's called Frilliance and it's all supposed to be dedicated to teen prone skin that's like her thing and as we know teenagers get acne teenagers have oily skin like it's just how it is because when you're going through like puberty like your face is changing you know and all that so she wanted to create um, a makeup line dedicated to teenagers like teenagers that are going through this stuff and so I ordered off of Frilliance and I got two things I've wanted these things for so long and I finally put myself to it she was having a sale for New Year's and I ordered this on like New Year's Eve I think or maybe the day before but I will show you guys what I got it's Frilliance naturally happy beautiful bright teen prone skin so that's just really cool I think a lot of people can relate to it also um the paper is yellow and if you guys can't tell um I like yellow so we're gonna read the card um this she doesn't know who I am or anything so like don't think this was sent to me I bought this this is Fiona actually so she said thank you for purchasing Frilliance products I put my personal experience to work for you and created Frilliance to help teens like you and me with our teen prone skin let's celebrate happy clear skin together XOXO Fiona so the things that I got were right here I got the Frilliance moisturizing lip gloss and this is crystal clear uh, supposedly this is one of her like most famous products is the lip gloss like the setting spray the highlighter she just has oh that noise oh that made me cringe she has like a bunch of products that a lot of people like so this is what it looks like it's just a clear lip gloss and supposedly it's very very moisturizing it looks pretty and i can't wait to try this out i'm very excited please don't make that noise again it says moisturize your smiling lips the clean healthy lip gloss always fresh smooth and never sticky rich with natural moisturizers and antioxidants straight from mother nature cruelty free non-comedogenic hyperallergenic fragrance free no parabens no parabens, no pathylates. I don't know what that is. No mineral oils and no petroleum. I really love the packaging. It's super pretty and like just attracts you to it. Um, as you can see, I love yellow and like a lot of her thing is yellow. This would be like my makeup brand if I ever did that. So I'm very excited to try this. And then I also got the Frilliance Illuminating Cream, the Self Glow Highlighter. So this is in the shade Self Glow. And this is all like the good things for your face too. And it says, get your glow on without a harsh glittery glare, which is exactly what I like. Radiate healthy skin with this hydrating illuminator. Beautiful highlights your face and perfectly moisturizes teen prone skin your skin says thank you and um if you guys know i don't love a super blinding highlight on my cheek i actually like it to be quite natural and i like to have a lot of highlight on my center of my face supposedly this was really good for like the natural but blinding like inner glow i don't know if that makes sense it is a cream which is cream highlights is what i like so i'm just gonna shake it a little bit and then put it on my hand okay so there we have some squirted um it looks like a pretty like golden shade and that's what it looks like Ooh, okay i can already tell i'm gonna like that i love like the frosty highlights the natural frosty highlights that just look like an inner but like blinding glow i don't know if that makes any sense but i love cream highlight on my cheeks over powder highlight so i'm very excited to use this i'm very excited to use these so now we're gonna move on the stuff that was sent to me through octoly so the first thing i got was sent to me complimentary from becca cosmetics through octoly this is their becca shimmering skin perfector pressed mini champagne pop highlight and um this came in a cute little ornament for like christmas and i have actually used this once already because i wanted to try it champagne pop is i'm pretty sure the most sold out highlighter like across the world i'm pretty sure that's like a statistic or something and this was made by um jacqueline hill and so many people talk about it so i wanted to try it you can see my little fingerprint in it but this is a tiny little champagne pop highlighter it has a mirror the mirror is like so good like i can see everything it's so cute and like perfect for traveling or something the color actually fits my skin tone which i was kind of worried about but it does fit my skin tone and it's very very pretty i like a lot so I got this and I love it so much. It's so cute. And even just in the packaging, like the little ornament is adorable. I'm gonna be saying that this was sent to me complimentary from Octoly a lot, but I have to say that like, I don't know, it's like one of their rules, but if you don't know what Octoly is, Google it. So next, this was sent to me complimentary from Bior through Octoly, and this is their Witch Hazel Ultra Deep Cleansing Pore Strips, and um, these like remove blackheads or whatever. This is what they look like. It comes with six of them. It also came with a toner, which is this Witch Hazel thing too, but it's in my drawer. I've been using that nonstop. I love it, and I've actually used two of these pore strips already, so I like it a lot. I use the toner every night before I go to bed. It dries out my skin, and I feel like it makes it so clean. It just feels so clean, and and then I'll put moisturizer and I'm like, dang, my skin feels so healthy. I don't really have like pores or blackheads on my nose, so I don't really see these doing anything, but it makes me feel good about myself when I do it. The next two things were sent to me complimentary from Ofra through Octoly, and this first one is the Winter Heat Wave Staycation Kit. So in here you get a mini pillow talk highlight, which I actually have a full size one. And then you have um, a mini treasure long lasting liquid lipstick, which is right here. And then a mini micro makeup fixer, which is right here. And that's like a setting spray. 
So it's really, really cute. This would be a really good gift for somebody. This is what the lipstick look like. It's kind of like a purpley matte and it's really, really tiny. It's really, really adorable. This would be a good st stocking stuffer. Um, I have this highlight already, but it's just their Pillow Talk highlight and this is a mini one. And then this is their makeup fixer and it's just like um setting spray and it's really adorable. I'll probably just like give the highlight away to somebody and like the liquid lipstick. The only thing I want from this kit is the um setting spray, but I just love getting these things and showing you guys Guys, because the retail on this is really good and it's really cheap and it's really cute and like a really good gift I just said really like 17,000 times. I'm so sorry, but this is just really pretty. Oh my gosh. This is great <laughs> I love this highlight. I use it all the time. Oh for liquid lipsticks quality is amazing I have a bunch of them. You're gonna see some more in a second and then I I was about to say really again. And then I want to try this setting spray. So the next thing I got from Ofra was this four piece liquid lipstick set. These are supposed to be $36 in total, but this little set gives you it for $20. So it comes with four of their long lasting liquid lipsticks. I've actually used two of these from this kit already, but it comes with a Monaco. I think that's how you say it, but it's just a frosty metallic pink shade. Then we have Mina, which is this really dark vampy berry color. Um, we have Ball Harbor, which is this one. It's like a nudish purple brown. And then we have this one, which is Brickle, which is the prettiest red lipstick ever. So I've actually used Brickle, which is the red, and Ball Harbor before. They're super pretty. I love them a lot. Ofra never plays around with liquid lipsticks or formulas. Amazing. But I probably will never use these two just because I don't like metallic liquid lipsticks. These are nice to have in a collection in case you have somebody that wants like that kind of lip if they come over. Or you can just gift them to people. I know I know I say this a lot, but I get a lot of makeup sent to me from companies, from brands that want me to show it or just talk about it or see my opinion. And I don't keep it all. Like I literally have an entire drawer in my makeup collection dedicated to products I've never used that I'm going to give people, donate or sell. So a lot of people think I'm like selfish and just keep it all for myself, but I definitely don't do that. I just re-gift it or sell it or donate it. I have so much makeup. I don't need any more. I just like to show you guys and play around. So it's fun getting new stuff, you know? So then lastly, we have stuff from Sephora and Glossier, which is probably what you clicked on this video for. If you guys don't know, I went to New York City and stayed there for a week for New Year's and it was so much fun. If you guys haven't seen a haul or my vlog, I did a vlog from New York City. You can go watch it. And I did a clothing haul where I got a bunch of stuff from New York. You can also go watch that. I don't know if it's going to be up before this or not, but I went to the Glossier store in New York City and it was so cool. I've wanted to order off Glossier for the longest time ever and when I found out they had a store there, it was so awesome. Everything is pink in the entire store, so you go up like these pink staircases and you turn the corner and it's just full of people trying out all their Glossier makeup and then they have like this entire section where you can try out their skincare and then they have an entire mirrored section where you can take like Instagram pictures and they have like their boy brow like a big statue of it which is really really cool definitely go watch my New York vlog if you want to see it and follow me on Instagram because I have a bunch of like stories of it and highlights on my account but I went to the Glossier store and I didn't know how it worked because you know at Sephora they have like testers and then you can get what you want well at Glossier they only had testers out and so so I was really confused. I was like, mom, like, how do I buy it? You know, like, how do I give them my money? And so I went up to a lady and I'm like, hi, how do I pay for this? And she was like, so you just tell me what I want. I'm going to put it on the computer. You swipe your card and then you go to the front and they'll call your name and give it to you. And I was like, well, that's different. So I did that and I got three things from Glossier. See, they write your name on it because they like give it to you. They, they deliver it to you at the front. So um, this is the packaging. Glossier packaging is gorgeous. It's all this pretty like pink bubble wrap. It's so simplistic and really healthy and clean makeup. So I love it. I know it might not seem like it today because I'm wearing a lot of makeup, but I really love just natural glowy like dewy makeup and so Glossier is like right up my alley. So I've actually tried two of the products already. I got home from New York two days ago and I just couldn't help myself. So the first thing that I got was the Glossier MintBalm.com Universal Skin Salve and this is what it looks like. This is one of their most popular products ever and it's just like a lip balm. They had a bunch of different flavors. They had like coconut and all that stuff, but I've heard really good things about the, the mint one and so I wanted to try it and I love this. I love the mint and it makes you like lips feel so tingly and so like nice and glossy and hydrated and it's really really good i love the packaging too you squirt it out it smells so good it smells just like mint like i love mint i recently got a diffuser too and like in my diffuser is like mint oil and so i just love this so much you can put it on your lips your cuticles elbows 
or on a friend anywhere that needs some love which i just think is so cute also glossier is cruelty free so i really love this universal skin salve i think it's amazing highly recommend this i think it was like 12 dollars, which is expensive for a chapstick but it's really worth it so the next thing that i got was this and this is the only product i haven't actually used from glossier yet and this is their lip gloss in the shade clear transparent so this is what it looks like really simplistic packaging but this was the first thing i tried on in the store and i was like "Ooh, that is so glossy as you guys can see i just love the glossy thing and so i picked this up this is what it looks like it's really adorable it just looks like that and then has the little g on the back for glossier the top is like really long and pretty and luxurious that is the applicator super pretty glossy it has a little pink tinge to it and i think it is so cute very excited to use that like i said that's the only thing i haven't used yet but i'm pretty sure this was 22 dollars, but don't quote me on that and then the last thing that i bought was the glossier boy brow grooming pomade brow gel and this is in the shade clear i know they have colored boy brows but me and colored like brow gel just doesn't work really well because my eyebrows are so thin and so blonde i need like to fill them in and then use a clear brow gel and you guys know i I love brow gel it just holds my eyebrows so well so i picked this up this is actually glossier's most famous product ever is the boy brow this is what it looks like it is so cute and i've used this twice since i got it that's the little applicator it's adorable and i really like it i find that it does hold my brows very very well and this i'm pretty sure was 22 dollars as well i got those three products and then i got a sample of their milk jelly cleanser conditioning face wash so that's what that looks like they're also very famous for this too so that's what that looks like can't wait to try it so those are the things i got and i really love all of them so then lastly i went to sephora in new york and i picked up four things i think which as we know sephora is so expensive so normally go into sephora and buy like one thing but no i felt bougie i was like oh i'm gonna do this i'll sign a gift card so i spent a lot more so if you guys did not know which probably you did because i promoted the heck out of this but i had a little like meetup i guess you could say in sephora in new york city in times square and um basically three of y'all came there was a girl named chloe a girl named Jaina and a girl named Eva and they all came and it was so cute with their like parents and everything and we walked around and we talked and I bought them face masks we took pictures it was so cute so thank you to them three for coming to my little meetup it wasn't like a meet and greet or anything it was just like I'm gonna be here and if you want to come then you can say hi to me and we can walk around and talk so it was so cool meeting y'all and I love you thank you so much for supporting me so while we were there I picked up a few things while I was shopping with my mom and we're gonna get started so in here the first thing that I bought was the Laura Mercier trans translucent setting powder and I have wanted this for so long I know I'm so late on this bandwagon but I've never tried this in my entire life this is such a popular powder and I think I'm so late to this trend but I've never tried it I wanted to try it so so bad and so I was like mom I'm gonna do it and so I did it I still have not tried any of this Sephora makeup yet but I'm very excited too because I wanted that for so long the Laura Mercier powder was $38 the next thing that I picked up was the Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow pomade in the shade blonde like I said I'm religious to my brow pencil by Anastasia but I've wanted to try their dip brow pomade for so long as well I've heard such good things about it and this is a lot of people's holy grail so I picked it up I wanted to try it and this was $18 I got mine in the shade blonde like I said and I'm not really good with pomades like working with pomades is a little bit harder for me because you have to have such control but I think I can do it and I'm gonna try and incorporate this using it more I've never tried this before like I said so I'm very excited and then the last thing that I got was the Anastasia Beverly Hills clear brow gel and this was $22 I said this for both of these products but I've wanted to try this for so long as well so basically I just bought like all the things I've wanted to try for the longest time ever I've heard such good things about these like all these products I've heard so many people talk about so many people love them so I wanted to try it i love brow gel like i said and so this was just like a given you know the packaging is just so shiny i've never even opened this before so yeah between my boy brow gel and this brow gel it's gonna be great in total at sephora i spent 84 dollars, but then i had a 25 dollar gift card so i only ended up spending around like 60 dollars, i think something like that and then i have over a thousand sephora points so they gave me two of these things these are like their bite beauty insider things i don't know <laughs> this is what they look like i've already gotten this before like previously so i'm just gonna stick these in a drawer and give it to somebody or donate them because i don't need them so then in this bag lastly i got two more things 
So like I said, I bought all the girls at the little meetup face masks and then I got myself too. So I got myself the Sephora aloe vera face mask and this is what it looks like. And I got myself the coconut face mask and that's what it looks like. All the girls wanted the coconut ones. So I ended up buying a lot of coconut face masks and it was just so cute. They like hugged me and they're like, thank you so much. And it was just adorable. It was like one of the best experiences ever. So um, how much did we spend? So all the face masks were $6. So for these two, it was like 12 bucks and then plus theirs. Doesn't really matter. I just wanted to tell you guys the prices so you know. I've never tried a Sephora face mask, so I'm excited about these. And we have a bunch of receipts. And y'all, I believe that is the end of this haul. So all this makeup later, 20 minutes later, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys love seeing me blow all my money. I know you guys love my hauls, you love makeup, and I love filming these videos. So don't forget to subscribe if you are new here because you will get videos like this all the time. I love you so, so much and thank you guys for constantly loving and supporting me thank you for making 2018 an amazing year and let's make 2019 even better i've set a number in my head at my goal by the end of the year and i'm thinking if we can work hard enough and get there it would be so so cool your immense constant love and support is crazy and i just wouldn't be here without you guys i wouldn't be able to buy this stuff i wouldn't be able to do these kind of things so just thank you from the bottom of my heart also i didn't address this but i'm wearing a christmas onesie yes i'm well aware that it's january 6th while i'm filming this but i don't care thank you guys so much for watching and i hope to see you guys in my next video bye guys